Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to a traffic stop where a sovereign citizen has been pulled over for no insurance, no plates, or anything like that. But here's the thing. The officers take pity on the guy because he has his children with him and he ends up being let go, but not before uh, he is hit with fines and all that and been t and told to go to court to try to resolve this issue. But I guess whatever works, I doubt that he'll go to court anyway. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, here's the plan. So, we are doing you a huge favor. Huge favor. Um, whether, and like I said before, you can figure it all out in court. I'm not going to arrest you. Um, I am going to formal complaint you, though, because gross miss, no insurance. Gross miss, intent to evade tax because of the tabs. Um, misdemeanor driving after revocation. Um, Unfortunately, this the plate is not it's not legal. Um, if you want to keep on doing what you're doing, if if well, this is what if, I believe in. This I, is what I, I truly believe I in. Well, dude, your belief system has kind of gotten you down shit creek without a paddle because you state later on that you have paid a lot of fines in the past and you continue to pay them. And you know, it would be so much cheaper to just pay the yearly registration fee which is really not that much for a single car to begin with and be on your way have insurance and everything like that still a lot cheaper than paying a thousand dollars with the fines hell my car insurance cost me less than eight hundred dollars a year and i only got the one vehicle I mean, gas alone would probably be more than my insurance annually. I'm sure of that. So you really got to take a look at your bottom line and act like this is a business and really uh, self-reflect on whether this belief system of yours is good for your bottom line, as mentioned earlier, or can you save money in the long run or anything like that by uh, actually... Uh, keeping your stuff up to date. I mean, it's that damn simple. And, you know, as a, as, a, as a United citizen, I'm a national. Well, whoopity freaking do, Sovtard. You're a national. Who gives a flying F about that? But you know what? If you try that in any other country in the world, they'd be like... Well, you are uh, on our roads, in our country, in our jurisdiction. You've got to follow and obey the laws of our road systems. Not to mention the insurance issue. I mean, you're uninsured too. I mean, you're not exactly thinking about everybody else on the road are you because what happens if you get in an accident and uh well you have no insurance to co uh to compensate for anything that might happen in the accident but that's something i've noticed with sovtards anyway they only think of themselves they don't think of the other people on the roads it's just all about them and, and here's here's the thing unfortunately you'll have to go through the court process they're the ones that are gonna they have all the say in this. You know, I'm just out here trying to do my job. Right. You know, I, 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 I agree see you're with a you. human being, and I get that. Like, Yeah, and you being a sovereign citizen, if you want to go to court over all this, you're not going to find a lawyer who's going to be able to represent you properly because you'll be uh, on their ass about the whole thing when uh, they're not uh, shoveling the arguments that you prefer down the judge's throat. Then you'll fire your lawyer and uh, start representing yourself pro se and bog down the system as long as you can until they get tired of you. But your arguments will fall short anyway, even if they're tired of you, and they will find you guilty on your charges. So, you want to take that risk? Go right ahead. 
We're all humans. Yes. I, just unfortunately. I have four kids of, and I'm 40 years old. We're just, My daughter died two years ago. We're just unfortunately. See like this. This kind of a thing right here would have no relevance to your uh, case in a court of law. So if you did go to court and you just decided to bring this up and the prosecutor objected to it, it would most certainly be sustained and you would have to move on because there's no relevance to uh, the death of your daughter to getting pulled over constantly due to your sovereign citizen belief system because there's just no connection there. You go about things a little differently. Um, and you can go through the court process, but unfortunately we need to follow Minnesota law. So that's where all these, that's where all this is coming from. Um, I'm, like I said, doing you a favor. I'm not going to bring you to jail. I'm going to formal complaint you. Um, and I'm going to leave you here to, I'm not going to tow your car. I really should. I absolutely should be towing your car because you don't have insurance. Then why the hell aren't you towing the car if you really, really want to? Uh, let me guess. You want to uh, bury this man in so many traffic tickets that, well, he may one day see the error of his ways and go back to being a average citizen. And um, that's probably it, right? I'm not really sure about that, but that's probably it. Well, you, you, I've explained it all. I absolutely should be. I'm not going to. Um, Can I, I have just, my plate I, back? No, I'm not going to take your plate. That's okay. your property. Thank you. That's your. It, it's not like the other. It's not like the, the truck plate. You know, so I'm not going to take your property from you. Um, you paid. You paid money for that. Um, it's just unfortunately you can't be using it the way you are. Um, and like I said, if you want to, you have to get the approval through the courts. So, I'm gonna then I then I carry my paperwork with me, and then we'll be good. Yeah, as long as if you get approval for all this through the courts, you carry that paperwork. I will. And it, it has to be a. Oh, it's gonna courts, be. Has to be legit. It's if legit. You, if you show it to me next time. What I'm talking to you about is just the beginning of what I found out about it. Right? Yeah. It's 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 a deep rabbit hole, and it's yeah. pretty disgusting. It really is. It really if is. If you know what I'm talking about, and it is. Nothing but a bunch of conspiracy theory trash. I mean, a lot of these things that you see on the internet internet are not exactly true, dude. I mean, they're built around other people's fantasies. Then a lot of times these issues don't exactly work out in the real world. And as far as the judge approving any of this, no, dude. He's going to take one look at that paper work if he even looks at it and laugh your ass out of court and uh, definitely not approve it. In fact, he'll uh, be more likely to uh, put more fines and penalties on you as a result of showing him that BS. And what everybody thinks is right and wrong is completely wrong and not right. So, But, but you're doing sure your job. You, make sure you're not forging anything. Make sure it's all legit, okay? Yes. All right. Um, highly encourage you to just go home. Um, does that make sense? My supervisor is here. Yes. But this is I. This is the plan that I think is best. And he and agrees. If you, if you still want to talk to my supervisor, you sure can, because he is here. Um. It's uh, honestly, I mean, he's here. He's on the same page as you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Here. If, if you want to talk to him, he's, he is right here, but okay. uh, right now, hey, that, that's a Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm Sergeant Lambert. Nice to meet you, officer. Sergeant Department. Sergeant, Sergeant. Is that your son? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, sir. So, Deputy Regenscheid filled you in on what's going on? Yes. So, you know, it's your prerogative, but we're trying to help you not bury yourself with these fines that are going to be imposed on you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I paid a thousand dollars to get this vehicle out of I know, impound. I heard you, you spent money on the, the plates, the actual plates. Yes. Who who took your money for the plates? Um, freedomfromgovernment.com. That was a donation. May, maybe. Yeah, I know it was a donation because those plates, the state doesn't recognize those plates. Yeah, it's it's a well, it's, I'm just traveling. I, 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 it's in the state. 
you're on the roadway. I'm traveling, and that's what I roadway. So you, it, it, I understand your. I'm I'm sympathetic with your, your, what you're trying to say, but it's not going to get you anywhere. But a whole bunch of fines. Right. Fines I already, that I, I already got that. a whole bunch of fines. Yep. And, and it's just going to get so worse I, and worse. I've been, I've been I, nice. twenty years. I got fines for oh. driving. To and from work as a carpenter, I got so many, and I've paid them all, and done all the loopholes, and went to court. But I'm just so many times. This isn't the way. This isn't the answer. That it's going to get. Worse. Can you imagine how much money this idiot has spent on fines, where that money could have been put away for something more useful? I mean, imagine the possibilities with all the fines that he has paid over the past 20 years i mean good freaking grief i mean you are a complete moron now we're not going to force you out of this car in front of your kid and make a big melee and all that stuff but you're going to you're going to be faced with some charges that are going to attach fines to you. And then if you don't respond to those, there'll be a warrant. Yeah, there'll be a warrant out for this dude's arrest, but he's probably not going to care until they come knocking on his door and take him away. He seems like that kind of person right there. And eventually, you're going to get pulled out of your house or wherever. Yeah. Warrants for all these unpaid fines. So it's a system that you can't, you can try to fight it, but we, we don't fight it. Because it's just the system that's imposed on us, right? Right. So I mean, it's your prerogative, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go down this road much longer because it's not going to end up well. And I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it as another U.S. citizen. Right. I'm just telling you that. I'm not telling you that as law enforcement. I'm telling you, it's, it's not well, going to end well. I'm no longer a citizen. I'm actually, I turned my birth certificate in. I got my actual birth certificate, not live birth certificate. So I'm now a national. Yeah. And I go by, that's why I go by the federal yeah. laws. Yep. Well, dude, uh, even if you go by federal laws, you still got to go by the laws of your state because that's pretty much what the Tenth Amendment was set up for anyway, because you've got to follow those laws. And if you are no longer a U.S. citizen because you claim that you got rid of your birth certificate, well, that's not exactly how that works either. I don't know what kind of people have been feeding you this kind of bullshit information to begin with. Just turning in your birth certificate does not nullify the fact that you are a U.S. citizen. I mean, that is inherently an idiotic thing to think about right there. You are not right in the head, obviously. I'm just letting you know that's, that. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you're wrong. You're, you guys are right in a commercial capacity 100%. Yep. And, and what you're talking about, it, you know, I, under, I agree with everything. I, I do. So well, I just want to let you know, all right? Yes, sir. So you'll be uh, the Deputy Ringerscheid, Ringerscheid tell you about what? I explained okay. everything. All right. Do so, you have any questions for me? No, sir. All right. Highly recommend you just drive home and then get it all figured out. Okay? Travel home? You won't stop well, I mean, me I mean, every from time traveling you home? I'll follow you there as long as you go there and then... We're hungry. We want food. We were going to Subway. I'm going to get food. To, but you have to be registered. You have to have insurance. So you have to have have I will follow license. you home. And I'm not going to sit outside your house. I've got a job to do. So I will follow you home. Is that okay? Okay. All right. All right. Good luck, all right, man? Thanks for your all time. Right. Shut up! You're killing me, Smalls. Yeah, you're killing me, Smalls. That's exactly how I feel at this point with this particular traffic stop. I mean, they should not let this guy go. I mean, he has no insurance, no driver's license, no proper plate. He's been known to have a history of this kind of BS for 20 years and has not learned a damn thing from it. I mean, you, he should not be driving on the road based on no insurance alone because what if he hits somebody or hits something and has no insurance to cover it i mean this is a load of garbage i mean he should not be on the road on a public highway he's a danger to everybody else around him even though he's been uh, on the roads for 20 years doing this but still it's not if it happens, 
but when it happens, and then when it happens, it may not work out so well for anybody involved. This was the most idiotic traffic stop I have seen in quite a long time, and that just cannot be excused. But you know, at any rate, guys, I am just going to cut it off right here, and I will see you on the next one before I continue this rant for another 20 minutes.